Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an update for the Panners Pan for you. And I'm sure you guys might all know by now because there is a good few people doing this project. This was started by Elizabeth and we're rolling in products for Panners that we like watching and uh, that we can, I guess, relate certain products to. So just gonna jump right in, starting off with the NARS Albatross highlighter. Um, this has been in here for a long while and it's in here for Laura from Laura Force. Um, as you can see, I've got a good bit of pen, but I've also got a good bit of not pen. Um, still have a good bit of progress to make on this one. I'm working my way towards this corner right here, trying to kind of get the product gone right over there. And I've been working on that for a long time. Laura flies through uh, highlighters and clearly I, I do not. This is the only highlighter that I really have at the moment. So that is what you see on my cheekbones at the moment. And I've still got some work to do on it. Um, making slow progress. I think you guys will be able to see that better from the pictures like right next to each other. Because I always feel like I'm making barely any progress. And then when I see the pictures, at least I can see that there's something <laughs> of a difference there. So yeah, that's it for this one. Still some work to do on that one. Then a nail polish. This is a Zoya Aurora, which I have on my nails right now, as I do pretty much every time I update you guys on this project. I um, did manage to make a new marking, which is very exciting because over the last months, basically it took me like two months to be able to have enough progress to make a new marking every single time. This time I made it my goal to be able to at least make a new mark in a month's time and I did. Um, the bottle is getting a little bit more like small or shallow towards the bottom so it's a little bit easier to get there as well but I made sure to properly focus on this as well. I'm definitely over halfway at this point but at the same time there still is a good bit of progress that needs to be made on here. I also have my project polish going so I just cannot get myself to fully focus on this one because I want to have progress on my other projects as well. But yeah, we're making progress slowly but surely. This is in here, I don't know if I mentioned that, for Joy from Joyful Beauty, who is amazing with nail polish and actually with using up nail polish as well in her project polish. But yeah, that is uh, the progress on this guy. Then, for Elizabeth herself, I'm working on this lip gloss. This is the Gosh On Stage Cool Lip Jam in 101. 15 mils of product in here, which is half a fluid ounce. It's just so big, but I've made some okay progress again. I've said it before, now that I'm going back into the office, I'm still kind of getting used to the routine and for some reason, when you get into a new environment or things change in like your day to day, it's harder to keep certain habits that you had before and applying or reapplying lip products for me is one of them. So I don't have the amount of progress that I had last time, even though this is kind of like the main product that I take with me to the office. I just sometimes it's, it's still stuck in my bag and I just forget to apply it because I don't see it. Whereas here I have it out in the open and I see it whenever I like sit at my desk because my desk is in our bedroom at the moment because you know, work from home life. Uh, yeah, so I made some progress anyway, so I'm excited about that. And just looking kind of when I was, was filming the close-up shot right before filming this, looking at where I came from, like all the way at the top and the fact that I am actually getting down here right now is pretty exciting. It probably still is gonna take me maybe until the end of this year <laughs> to get all the way through this. I need to try and put on a little bit more focus and then maybe I can get this done in like three months, maybe four, I don't know. But yeah, we're making progress on it. That is what counts and uh, yeah, it's noticeable progress. So I'm happy about that. I have had this in multiple projects and I never really like managed to get to it properly because it's so big, it's just kind of daunting and I decided to keep focusing on other stuff. But progress is being made right now and that is exciting. <laughs> then we have Paula from A Beauty Guru Make Me Do It. As you guys probably know by now, I'm working on a shade in the Vice palette for her. And that shade is the purple shade right in the middle, right here. 
and it's called 1985. I've used this one five times over the last month. I have that on my lids right now as well. It's on the outer part of my lid basically. So um, that's what I've been doing with it over the last week mainly, like either applying it all over the lid or on the outer part of my lid with something else on the inner part. And I can see, like I've actually really made some progress on this now. There really is a dip in there. But I still have some work to do before I actually hit pan on it, which is my goal for this project. I'm just gonna keep working on it. But my Panda palette will remain my main focus until I've actually finished off a good few of the shades in there. Um, but five uses is not too bad. That's kind of like my goal at the moment. I want to hit at least five uses on eyeshadows in most of my projects where I can. And with that also, uh, that is also the case for the NYX palette right here. I'm working on a grungy green for Rebecca and that's the green right here that I do not have pan on yet. Also that one I've used five times over the last <laughs> week basically but over the last month as well and that is on the like outer corner crease area to darken things up a little bit in the look that I'm wearing today. And that is also how I've been using that one mainly. I know I keep saying I need to actually try to do a proper grungy look with it. Didn't get there yet. Um, I need to figure out how to do that as well because that's just not really my usual style. So I don't even know where to start when I want to create a grungy look. But yeah, I can see there is some usage on it now. There is the tiniest bit of a dip starting to form in there. So that is exciting. This palette is a little bit more powdery because it's getting a little bit more old, I guess. And just the NYX um, like formula, I guess, is a bit more powdery than some of my other palettes anyway. But yeah, a small dip is good progress in my opinion. So that is uh, it for that one. So. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at my products right now and see what progress I can really make by next time. I think my goals are gonna be pretty similar. I want to use the eyeshadows both at least five times for the nail polish. I want to make sure I can make a nail marking and that's my lip gloss going to the floor. I want to try and see if I can get into the habit of actually reapplying that lip gloss a little bit more. So maybe next time I can show you a little bit more progress. And the highlighter I use pretty much every day anyway, so... The progress that you see is probably the progress that you're going to get next time as well. And that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.